Hello guys, welcome to my video series tutorial to talk about Microsoft Cinematic Kernel. In this video, I'm going to focus on two new concepts, one called a function filter and another one called a prompt filter. One of our video, we talk about the kernel hooks concept. In the kernel hooks, we implemented a function hooks and prompt hooks using this even handler mechanism. It's working fine, no issues. But if you use this even handler mechanism, there are some limitation is there. For example, this even handler mechanism, it won't support the dependency injection. So it's making challenging to access specific service registered in the applications. So if you want to access the specific service, services, is limited to the particular class where your handler has been defined. For example, in your application, you define the login factory service, but this class does not inject the, the, the service, but you need to access the login factory in the function hooks and prompt hooks. So the, this is not possible because it's a limitation. So this scope of this function hooks, prompt hooks within this class. So this is no problem. The second problem, time frame. During the application, the runtime when the handler should be linked or unlinked to the kernel, it's unclear. So these are the problem to use this even handler mechanism to avoid this problem. Function filter and the prompt filter has been implemented in the latest version of Cimatic kernel. So dependent injection for handler should be supported to easily access restate service within the application and should not be any limitation where the handler are defined within the solution whether it's a startup file or maybe in separate file no issues you can access any service at anywhere in your application and there should be a clear way of registering and removing handler as a developer you can take the decision when the handler should attach to the kernel or when you want to detach to the kernel that's up to your decision let's start how to implement this feature i'm going to take the same example which we discussed in the kernel hooks based on that i have created a new project called kernel filter demo and i made one small changes the timer log i introduced the interface called i timer log interface same for display also display also i have implemented the new interface called i screen display the main program.cs file i'm going to use the interface only the next step make sure you have to install the latest version of cinematic kernel package so the latest version now it's available 1.2.0 i have installed this version and in the program.cs file i remove the function hooks and prompt hooks instead of that we are going to create the filter concept so those code also has been removed the first step i'm going to implement the function filter to implement this feature i'm going to create a new class public class class name called the function filter this class should implement function filter interface also so here i add the function filter and default implementation has been implemented here function invoked and another one for invoking this is same for hooks invoking invoked and in the event handler we have the class called the function invoking event arc here the class name has been changed function invoked context the rest of the functionality remains same whatever concept we achieved in the hooks the same concept available also in the function filter and the prompt filter for that i'm going to take the same code base so this code base i move to here the filter function both function invoked and invoking for that i need two object one for function timing logger and for display we need the display object so here the function filter i'm going to pass two object in the constructor one is i timing logger here function timing logger the next is a display object so screen display here we call this display function invoked so the invoked code here i just copy the complete code block move to here invoked the second one this invoking the same code i copied and move to here so I have to change the object name. So here, logger, logger, 
and display that's it our function filter class is ready so this class we have to inject to the kernel there are two ways we can do first way before build the kernel object we can inject the second way after build the kernel object also we can inject that we will talk about later first step i am going to use this before build the kernel object i am going to add the function filter class add function filter builder dot service dot add singleton so the singleton we have to specify the interface so we are going to use the function filter i define here the next the implementation of the function filter object here i am passing the object so corresponding argument also passed i set this is a startup project we run the application and see the result oops i have to change this also context 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 start the application again here we get the result same like in a kernel hooks concept so this is working the next step we are going to create prompt filter for that i am going to create a new class called the prompt filter public class prompt filter and this class should implement this i prompt interface same like prompt hooks two functions prompt rendering and rendered the same code here prompt rendered and the prompt rendering and here the class name called the prompt rendering event arc here the class name has been changed prompt rendering context this class i'm going to attach to the kernel but this time after build the kernel object we are going to attach so here i'm going to add kernel dot prompt filter this is a list of prompt filter collection so here we have to pass our object so prompt filter dot add our class called prompt filter so new of prompt filter we have to pass two argument here one is a prompt timing logger the next one is a display or should be caps that's it now we run this application and see the result function invoking called the next prompt related information again plugin related function invoking also called so it's same like our kernel hooks now the kernel hooks completely obsolete we have to use the filter concept 